No way. No. I can't. No. I can't. That doesn't, that's not nope. gonna I'm very nervous. <laughs> it looks like an animal. We've been told it tastes like chicken. This is the best one. We're at the Calgary Stampede and we're gonna try 10 of the craziest foods with all of our friends today. And what's even crazier is that this isn't even all of them. So come check it out for yourself. Let's warm up those mouths and bellies for a full day of crazy food. All right, we've got some deep fried frog legs, also covered in hot Cheeto dust. It does kind of look like frog legs. We've been told it tastes like chicken. I'm a little nervous. It looks like chicken. Okay. Oh, All right, here we go. Oh, it's really crunchy. <laughs> it's so freaky, but it was not that bad. I just freaked out. It's got bones in it for sure. I wasn't expecting frog's legs bones, but hey. I only got like two bites, two chews in, and then I freaked out. Definitely tastes like chicken. Okay, I did it. Okay, can I get a little bit more of this then? Think about the flavor. It's like chicken. <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> I really don't want to do it. I really love it. We're trying nitro coffee mini donuts, and this is gonna be Mila's first donut ever. Amazing. It's pretty good. Sugar overload, diabetes. Is this what every donut tastes like? Pretty much. <laughs> Whatever this coffee sauce is, it's good. Fill one yeah. in? Yes, try it. So we've got some nitro coffee drip, pull it apart, soft beautiful insides with chocolate and sauce and some icing sugar. It tastes amazing. Wow, it's warm. Yeah, it's better than Morgan's. We're about to get a dill pickle ice pop, only five bucks. Dill pickle ice pop, please. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you. Everybody who worked there said this one is really good. This is the best one. I'll take a bite. Okay, fine. That is good. I mean, it's like a, a salty popsicle, but it's actually not bad. I like pickles. The like first bit is it's so intense. I think there's like dill seasoning there's at dills. the bottom. Yeah. It's salty. Yeah, it's not sweet. I was expecting it to be like more like the pickle dog, like an ice po icicle popsicle thing. Pickle and something sweet, but it's all savory. I was expecting like pickle chunks. Frozen, frozen pickle chunks. <laughs> the frozen throws you off of it. It kind of reminds me of like when you get splashed in the ocean with salt water and you like have to lick your lips to get the water out. Yeah. That's all you taste. It does kind of taste like seawater. <laughs> the aftertaste is like seawater. For all you pickle lovers out there, this is the one to get. We got pickle, hot dog, mystery ingredient one, mystery ingredient two, and mystery ingredient three. We just got the Snickle Dog. It is a deep fried pickle, Snickers, and hot dog all in one. I'm not a big fan of pickles, but I do love mixing sweet and savory things. <laughs> there's the ingredients. I only taste bread, but I can see there's Nutella, a hot dog. It is pretty good. It tastes like a delicious croissant wrapped in chocolate sauce, which is delicious. I'm excited to actually try some of the hot dog and pickle and see how that fuses together. I'll hold this open, then you dump it in maybe. It's actually good. I like it. Can't be dainty. Hopefully we get the whole experience in one. The pickle's good. It's Snickers bar, not Nutella, right? I think it was worth the nine dollars. I'm really excited to try an octo lolly. I'm terrified. If that little girl did it, I can do it. <laughs> it said there's a brain and a beak inside of the octopus head. Uh, it smells fishy already. Mm. Wow. All right, we got some octo lollies in garlic butter. I can't do it first. Oh, oh. that's the brain. <laughs> You got it? You ate the beef? That's the brain. Oh no. It's like super chewy. There's the brain. 
You just eat the whole thing. You just ate the brain. It's an octo lolly. Are you, are you supposed to lick it? Oh, that's nasty. <laughs> Good. Tastes like seafood. I'm down. I, oh, I, I would just. Zan, just put that all in your mouth at once. The whole thing? The whole thing. <laughs> it looks like an animal. Do you want me to put it in your mouth? Yeah, I'm gonna close my eyes, you put it in my mouth. Oh. Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> no. Grab it, grab it. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Five second rule, guys. Oh my god. Don't recommend. I can't fear, it was so <laughs> real. It was too much of a little octopus in my mouth. Just bite, Just bite, bite it. it. Just bite it. Bite it, bite it. With your teeth. You go, bite it, bite it. Get it off. There you go. <laughs> Macro shot. Ew. Chew it. Put it oh, in. Yeah. Put it in. Don't stone in the taste bag. They're chilling. Just swallow. Okay, that's not the bag. Right? Do you want the rest of it? No. I close my eyes. I open my own mouth. Kayla put the octopus in my mouth. I freaked out. I couldn't do it. It felt real. It felt alive. But I, I ate a tiny piece. It was chewy. It wasn't so bad in the end. I'm one of those new age cowboys. We wear these to keep the gluten out. We just got some deep fried Twizzlers and I added caramel sauce because why not? Calories don't count when you're at the stampede. That's okay. like a warm hot Twizzler. It's, it's good. <laughs> Pro tip, dip your Twizzler in some ice cream. <laughs> I think the heat melts the twizzler a little, makes it better. That's unreal. Apparently, the line is all the way back here for the butterbeer ice cream. Big hit! Let's just smoke the butterbeer. Magic is happening. This is some Harry Potter wizardry. We've got some smoking butterbeer ice cream. Have you had butterbeer before? I have. I had it at the Hogwarts thing in England. I would say it just tastes like butterscotch. Yeah. This is just butterscotch. I mean, it's good. I think this is the wand that produces the magic. Maybe the more I eat it, the more it tastes like butterbeer. Or maybe it's just my head. I feel the magic working. It was worth it. Yeah. It's very good. It's very Instagram worthy. Everybody loves it. Instagram. It's it like, does taste really good. The more I eat it, the more I like it. The more you eat it, it does kind of taste like butterbeer. Right? So give it a chance. All right, if you like Harry Potter, and you like butterbeer, and you like ice cream, come and get this, worth the $8. We've got some devil's ramen here. This is not your regular soupy ramen. And the lady was telling me that it's very spicy. You ready? I'm very nervous. Try this out. It definitely smells spicy. Big bite. Yeah, it's definitely spicy. It's good though. It's got like a sweet kind of spicy, almost a creamy kind of texture. I mean, I didn't eat this directly. It's pretty spicy. It's a good spicy though. Amazing. Still kicking. Teared up a little bit, but it's not bad. All right, one more bite before I quit. That's definitely the fastest acting spice I've ever had. Usually it like takes a minute and then it kicks in, but this is like spicy all the way through. I don't know if I can finish this whole thing. This is very spicy. Oh yeah, it tastes good. It's a couple minutes later, and now the spice is hitting my stomach, and it's like really hitting me. All right, if you love spicy food, ramen noodles, non-traditional ramen, this is the spot to get it. Oh. <laughs> it's like just watermelon juice and then it's like pop rocks. It's like if you if you want to get refreshed and have a little treat, this is what you get. Whoa, it's a party in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> it's like very watermelon-y and yeah. like 
Oh, it's got so much sweetness. It was too sweet. You don't expect like the shock at the end. All right, and this is fun. Meningitis. Sharing is caring. Oh, you got a lot of pop rocks. Oh. <laughs> Tastes exactly like I thought it would. Like John's backwash. <laughs> What is the whole cruise out? Eat. What's up? How many people have eaten these so far? Uh, we've been selling about 30 a day, somewhere around there. All right, he's bringing out the real monster bug. Apparently, it's three inches long. Ooh! Oh, no way. No, I can't. No. I can't. That doesn't, that doesn't no. fit wait, right wait, now. wait, wait, wait. You haven't even seen the legs yet. Oh! <laughs> That's girl. huge, bro. That's not a one bite brownie. Thoughtful. Yeah. Love the thought. Hey, I'm here. You know, I'm here. Heard no from me, dog. I'll go first. I'll go first. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, you did it. It's all about. That's what he said. about. I need to make direct eye contact with it. <laughs> oh, my mouth is like. It tastes like I'm eating like spitz shells from hell. <laughs> That's not good. Okay, so we were told that they taste like pecans. I like a good pecan. I'm terrified. That's a baby that. one. Take like three. This one on this there. is get your vlog. Like get in on That's that. That's why I took the baby one. I feel like I should just have a bug and then chase it with ice cream. I'm so scared. <laughs> I can't. Oh no! That's wasteful. That's Five wasteful. second rule, Jay. Five second rule, Jay. Oh. Just eat it. Crunch, crunch. <laughs> it's like totally popcorn. <laughs> oh, that's so much. That's so much texture. Those little ones aren't bad. You're not gonna convince me to eat another one. I ate one. <laughs> it's still in my mouth. That's why it's no. Ate the bugs. Not that bad. Kind of crunchy. You not ate the at small all one. Like a pecan. Yeah. You ate the smallest. The one. small ones weren't bad. Flavor. One out of ten. Still, it's like in the back of my throat. You need to eat like a dry, like popcorn kernels, but they're like dung beetle. Thanks for watching us try these crazy foods here at Calgary Stampede. Thanks so much to all my friends who tried them with me. Be sure to comment down below what you would try, what you're gonna come for next year, and like and subscribe. Oh,